your curiosity about Lil Baby's music videos will skyrocket after hearing this shocking incident. And the crazy thing is, the incident involved multiple injuries, but Lil Baby himself was unharmed, and the motive remains a mystery. Stay until the end to get all the details and see exclusive footage from the scene. Lil Baby's recent music video shoot in Atlanta took a tragic turn when gunfire erupted, leaving three people injured. The shooting occurred near a commercial strip on Tuesday, May 14th, while the rapper was filming. Fortunately, Lil Baby was not hurt in the incident. According to Atlanta police, three men sustained wounds to their chest, arm, and neck. Despite the severity of their injuries, all three are expected to survive. Interestingly, the injured men are not believed to be part of Lil Baby's production team, and their identities have not been publicly disclosed. This has left fans in the general public speculating about the possible reasons behind the attack. New tonight, 811, police are working to try to find out who opened fire on the set of a music video reportedly featuring Atlanta's very own Lil Baby. The shooting happened just before 5 o'clock tonight. There is a map right here on your screen of where this all took place on Verbena Street. That's in the Dixie Hills neighborhood and the northwest part of the city. Tonight, 11 Alive has live team coverage from that scene. 11 Alive's Angelina Salita Salcedo is standing by with reaction from neighbors and the councilman uh, who represents that neighborhood. But first, let's get out to 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn with what we know about the shooting and the victims here. Ron and Jennifer, Lil Baby was not among the victims, but three men were shot just feet behind me in this parking lot. One shot in the neck, another man shot in the back, the third victim shot in the arm. Baby just pulled up on us, you know, we doing it big around this mug. There so was a music video that was being shot at the location uh, at the time in which the shots were fired. Chaos in this parking lot. We had multiple individuals flee the scene uh, subsequent to the shooting. Leaving a trail of evidence scattered across the crime scene. You this saw the multiple shell casings right adjacent to the, uh, the music video. Oh. APD using its K-9 team to find evidence in what witnesses described as a drive-by shooting. It appears to be isolated and targeted incident. Incident. bringing out not only detectives, but APD's gang unit as well. Several of, of the individuals in the city that are involved in some of these hybrid uh, rap performance groups are involved in certain conflicts throughout the city. So us as the city of Atlanta, we do want to be proactive in making sure that our gang unit is on scene and at the on front of any potential um, matters that could escalate as a result of a shooting of this nature. And as you can see right now at this hour, Ron and Jennifer, the crime scene is still active. We are more than six hours from when those shots rang out in this parking lot and APD still on the scene trying to track down those suspects. As far as the three victims, they are expected to survive. As of this hour, Lil Baby's team has not commented on the shooting. In Atlanta, Cody Alcorn, 11 Alive News. So a lot of folks looking for answers there, Cody, thank you. As of now, neither Lil Baby nor his representatives have commented on the shooting or confirmed his presence at the scene when the incident took place. Police have yet to provide details on potential suspects or the motive for the shooting, adding another layer of mystery to the case. He go, there he go, y'all see him? He came to get him some tacos, baby. Y'all better pull up. Cause you already know how we doing this type of tacos, baby. Pull up, baby. Little baby just pulled up on us. You know, we doing it big around this mug. This unsettling event is not an isolated incident for Lil Baby. Less than a year ago, another shooting occurred at his concert in Memphis. Videos posted on social media from inside FedEx Forum shows what started as a fun Thursday night as Atlanta rapper Lil Baby performs in front of a packed crowd waving their cell phones. The night turned chaotic when a gunshot was heard in the audience near the stage. They started shooting. If you look closely at this video, you'll see a man being pushed through the crowd on a gurney. Memphis police tell us a man was shot during the concert around 1030, but they have not released the victim's name. That's scary. I was actually downtown on Beale last night. Investigators say the shooting was premeditated and the victim was targeted, calling this a, quote, senseless act. Someone dropped the ball. Thankfully, no one else was hurt, but Tony Perez says this senseless yes. act 
put innocent concert goers in danger. That's not good for the city. Like, it's gonna drive out tourism and it's gonna drive out people who are law abiding and wanna come and spend money. Thousands were forced to evacuate as the concert ended abruptly, walking out to flashing blue lights and a speeding ambulance rushing the victim to the hospital. The city needs to be safe if you want it to be prosperous. Well, FedEx Forum was packed Thursday night, so Memphis police are hoping that anyone who saw anything or knows anything will contact Crime Stoppers. In downtown Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel 3. This incident left a man, later identified as Young Dolph's cousin, CEO Jizzle, in critical condition. Shots were fired inside the FedEx Forum, critically injuring Jizzle. Multiple videos circulated online showing Jizzle in the hospital, hooked up to machines with bloody bandages on his chest and torso. In one clip, he asked people to pray for him, but even more fervently for his enemies. The footage from the Memphis shooting also captured the chaotic moment the shots were fired and Jizzle being wheeled out on a stretcher. Lil Baby responded to this incident indirectly by offering refunds to fans, as he couldn't perform that night in Memphis. Glorilla, who was a supporting act at the concert, filmed her live reaction to the shooting. She expressed her shock and frustration over the situation on Instagram Live, emphasizing how unprecedented the violence was on their tour. These incidents highlight a disturbing trend of violence associated with live music events, particularly in the rap community. The reasons behind these shootings often remain unclear, leading to widespread fear and speculation. Concert goers and artists alike are left to navigate the dangers that now seem to accompany live performances. In light of these events, it's crucial to address the broader implications of such violence. What measures can be taken to enhance security at music events? How can artists and their teams ensure the safety of their fans without compromising the energy and spontaneity of live performances? These questions are becoming increasingly important as the music industry grapples with these violent disruptions. In conclusion, while the motives behind the shooting at Lil Baby's music video shoot remain unknown, the incident underscores the urgent need for improved security and safety measures at live events. As fans await more information and hopefully a statement from Lil Baby, the priority remains the well-being of those injured and the prevention of future tragedies in the music community. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Comment below with your thoughts on this incident and how you think the music industry can improve safety at live events.